Okay, y'all. You already know what's bopping. It's a ship clip tutorial. So we're gonna do it, okay? Let's do it. Now, ship clip is one of those things that took me a hot minute to figure out. But once you've got it, you've pretty much got it. There's a couple things to it, and I would say that ship clip is basically broken down into two different components. The first one being, of course, the clip in the corner, and the second one being actually getting into the ship. And both of them are their own challenge. But I'm going to start with the clip, explain how that works, pitfalls, and then we'll <clears throat> talk about getting into the ship. So basically the thing that I sort of aim for is this black texture right here. Um, it just kind of happens unconsciously now, but this is what I used when I first was learning it. You kind of want to be right along with that black texture. It's a good lineup to get right into the corner of the ship. And if you hit the corner just right, you want to start holding straight up. Um, of course, you want to turn if you need to. So I turn a little bit towards the entrance. And then once I'm facing the entrance, I begin holding straight up to cause the clip. And that's pretty much that. Now, we will cover getting into the ship, but I do want to first talk about the pitfalls of doing the clip. So the other thing that can happen is let's say you come at the ship and you go too far left. This is what ends up happening. You will not get the clip and if you watch, you will get pushed forward. Once you see that you get pushed forward but you don't get into the ship, then it's best to just go over and do chest star as a backup. Now there is a rare circumstance where you are too far left but not really and it's hard to tell and uh, you can play with it, but if you swim in neutral, you can actually clip in those situations. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a, a piece of footage getting it. I, I tried for a while, but once you, once you see that you clip in and you don't go anywhere, then it's best to just go do the backup, go do chest star, and then try it again on another star. Now, if you go too far to the right, you will immediately get shot out. And once again, I think it's best to immediately recognize this and go towards chest star. Of course, sometimes you can back it up by just doing eel the regular way. And that's pretty much that in terms of the clip. And once you have that sorted out, then of course the next step is how do you get the actual entrance? Because there's a lot of things that can happen when you enter. And I actually went in the ship to look at what's going on. So this black box is the entrance into the boat. This is how you actually get into the ship. And of course the eel is protecting it. So basically, the end goal is to get right around this area so that you avoid the hitbox from the eel because you will get hit, however, only if you miss the loading zone. The way it kind of works, and it's hard to see from this angle, but you hit the loading zone before you get to the eel hitbox, and once you hit the loading zone, Mario is in there, he can't get hit. So this is the money right here. So what can happen is you go too low to the left. This is what happens. Now, as you can, as you can see, the bottom of the eel actually doesn't have a hitbox. I can swim right through the bottom of the eel and it doesn't matter. This is why you want to like go down for a while then swim up and you're kind of swimming up through this piece of meat right here. You need to go more up pretty much is the situation here. Um, this is a fine angle but you're just not going high enough if you're getting knocked out that way. And sometimes you can get stuck and this is probably the rarest thing that happens to me but when this happens you pretty much just need to swim up. Um, or at least hold up and then angle Mario down and he kind of gets unstuck as we can see here in this. But sometimes when you swim, you will get hit by the eel and you'll stay in the loading zone, but you won't load. And in those scenarios, you just want to keep swimming because you get invincibility frames as long as you're inside the eel. That's kind of how th this game works so that you don't just keep getting hit. So when you do get hit, you have your invincibility frames until you're outside of an enemy. So... You can use that to your advantage, just swim right in. And that's what I did there. And so that's that's pretty much it. And now if we go back to one of the earlier clips, we can watch. I'm holding neutral. Like once I'm through, I'm not going up for a while. And then at the last second, I kind of hold down. You can, of course, advance frame by frame yourself on YouTube and see exactly what's going on. But yeah, that's pretty much ship clip. You know, once you have the clip, figuring out how to get in the entrance takes a little bit of time, but it's mostly about going up later than you think. You, you go up a lot later than you think in order to get into the entrance, but that's about it. If you have any questions, of course, leave them in the comments. And if you have ideas for other tutorials you'd like to see, let me know. But that's about it for me. Peace.